Life in general was embarrassing for me as I would go out, leave our home. I was to make sure that I had perhaps a change of clothing, definitely some extra change of pads, if I may. Never knew when I was going to need that change. I had had two bladder lifts, a mesh. I had tried different urinary incontinence uh, pills. The urinary incontinence was increasing and then the fecal incontinence started. And that's when I went to Dr. John Teske, my primary physician, and said, I need some help. I can't live like this. How can you help me? And he said he was able to refer me to Dr. Anil in OBGYN in the Pelvic Health Clinic. And I went that day for an appointment. They were able to get me in. He reviewed my situation with me. Then he started to share with me about this procedure and I hadn't heard about it. And usually I wanna look things up and find out about them. And he did tell me to go home and Google it and find out all about it. And, uh, but he was very informative knowing that there is some discomfort they install a temporary one. They'll put the wires down mm -hmm. uh, around the bladder and then the device mm -hmm. is there. You have to adjust the device according to your needs. Mm -hmm. It's been seven weeks and there is independence. Mm -hmm. I think first and foremost, it's very important to have trust and confidence in your physician. And that started with my primary, Dr. John Teske, and being introduced to Dr. Neil and uh, his nurse, and then Sarah. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome team. Um, they're trustworthy. What they say is true. It is a private situation you don't want to share. You don't want to admit that we're all, not all, but that some of us go through this. But there is help out there. So if you want information, do like I did. I Googled it, found out the information. But coming in and talking to the staff, it was just second to none. We don't have to live our lives like this. There is help out there. And if you can't tell your physician, who can you tell? <laughs>